What's up Crystal Lake fans? I've put together a little video just showing a couple of easter eggs and a really frigging awesome unmasked part 7 Jason. Now first of all, is it just me or does this bit when you walk through the door remind you of that old yummy mystery mansion game on the Sega CD? <laughs> Okay, so the image is from the original Friday 8th. You can see the exit sign is exactly the same. Pretty much the, the whole log cabin theme, the curtains are all the same, obviously not the same colour. You've got those plates up on the wall, exactly the same. You've got the keys to the right side of the door, all the same. Yeah, the guys at Gun have really paid attention to detail. And here's the bit that I mentioned in the first video I did about the virtual cabin when Tommy Jarvis, played by Tom Matthews, was uh, reading the books about how to get rid of Jason and his truck. And you can see him there, 30 Years Among the Dead, Manual of Occultism. Great, great attention to detail. I love, absolutely love it. This one, I actually, when I first saw it, I wasn't sure what it was, and then boom, it sprung to me. It was the one that, that the kid was reading in the cabin in part six. So it's like tiny little bits, it's like blink and you'll miss it moments. You see on the left, that's the map that you see in the corner of the cabin in the game. And it's the exact same map that's in the cabin from Friday Faith part one. Boom, same typewriter. At first, I actually just thought that was the piano, but I know if you look at it carefully, you see that the game piano has like a big square in the middle, whereas the one in the movie has like separate squares. But I mean, come on, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Fireplace, absolutely identical, except there's different ornaments above the fireplace. And if you look closely, you see it's the exact same plaque. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know if they intended for this to be the same cabinet thing but I mean look at it it looks exactly the same and here is unmasked part 7 Jason absolutely awesomely grotesque zombie face I remember watching one of the documentaries about Friday fame part 7 and I can't remember the exact details but I know there was someone I don't know if it was one of the producers or something on the set wasn't happy with the way he looked they said he looked like a big frog <laughs> something like that like yeah Kane wore that makeup really well he really um, even though he's wearing tons of makeup he really managed to like really act his way through the makeup and make you feel that kind of Jason anger oh anyway I hope you liked my video if you did give us a like and a comment and you can subscribe as well if you want I will be making future videos with whatever I can find about Friday Fantasy for the game until then, cheers for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.